if this is how your liner looks when you apply it, but this is how it looks when you relax your lid, then you know your hooded corner is interfering with your liner. Hi everyone, it's Smitha. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you a technique which is not just flattering on hooded eyes, but it's universally flattering no matter what eye shape you have. And because this glam is so soft, it looks classy on everybody. I can't wait to show you. So without further delay, let's begin. As I do every single time, I'm going to start with my brows. And for that, I'm going to be using the Precisely My Brow Brow Pencil by Benefit Cosmetics in the shade 4. I love this pencil because it has a micro tip and it's very easy to do those natural head like strokes. I don't like to fill in too much and I like to keep the arch of the brow as high as possible because I want to make enough space underneath my brows for eye makeup. And then I'm going to be using the Milani concealer. This is in the shade 145. I'm going to use it to clean up underneath the brows and also on my lid as a base for the eyeshadows. I'm going to lightly set this with the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Powder to prevent it from settling in the fine lines and creasing. First, I'm going to be working on my eyeliner and for that I'm using a black eyeshadow. This is called Let's Do It from Colourpop. It's a matte black eyeshadow with a small angled brush. I'm going to stamp it right at my lash line and then I'm going to slowly thicken it before I pull a small wing in the outer corner. Now, this is the easiest way to do an eyeliner, especially if you're a beginner or you mess up your liners. Instead of using a liquid liner or a gel liner, try using an eyeshadow. It is so simple and so easy to work with eyeshadows. As you can see, when I keep my brows raised, the liner looks fantastic. That's because it's lifted my hood along with the brow. Now, if I release the brow, you see what happens in the outer corner. The hood relaxes and interferes with the liner and it also ends up covering a part of the liner. So overall, the liner looks distorted. So if you feel like you have similar eyes like me, if you have that loose skin in the outer corner or if you have hooded eyes and if it does the same thing to your eyeliner, then rather than keeping it sharp and neat, try to soften it. That is your magic trick. And for that, I'm going to be using a shade that's universally flattering on all eye colors. It pops your eye color like crazy. And it's that military green. I'm going to be using Float Your Crib. This is from the ColourPop Star Wars palette. I'm going to take it with a small definer brush. You can also use a small flat shader brush. This is from ColourPop. And I'm going to start smoking out the edges of that liner with this eyeshadow. Now, because we used a black eyeshadow as an eyeliner, it's easy to blend it with other eyeshadows. It's softer, it blends in like a dream. If you had used a gel or a liquid liner, you would have had to put an extra effort into blending. And sometimes even after all that blending, you can still see the sharp edges. Next, I'm using a clean, flat, fluffy brush. This is from Laura Geller. I'm going to use it to blend this out further so it looks really soft and nice and there's no harsh edges left. Next, I'm taking a little bit more of that eyeshadow with the small definer brush and I'm going to blend it right on top of the eyeliner so it looks smoky. I'm taking a little bit of concealer with a flat concealer brush from Do Color to clean up the edges. And now when I keep my lid relaxed, the hood in the outer corner is not interfering with my liner. You can see how fantastic that looks. It is so beautiful, so subtle, so classy. And this kind of eyeliner is so forgiving that even when you close your eyes, it looks stunning. I'm next going to be using Droid Protocol with a small angled brush and I'm going to use it to smoke it out in my lower lash line. You can also use the same green eyeshadow and smoke it out in your lower lash line and make it a monotone or a monochrome eye look, but I just wanted to break it down. It looks fantastic. You can apply a coat of mascara and call it done, but I just want to oomph it up a little bit more. So I'm going to be using the Force, which is a beautiful gold shimmer. I'm going to apply it all over my lid with the flat fluffy brush from Laura Geller. And you can see how stunning that looks. 
And then I'm going to be using Precious Cargo to highlight my inner corner and brow bones using my favorite E27 brush by Rosenben Beauty. Now here's an optional step. If you really want to deepen your lash line, you can use a liquid liner or a gel liner. I'm going to be using this one from House Labs, but keep it very close to your lash line. I'm almost laying it flat on my lash line and stamping it. It's time to finish up with some mascara. So I'm going to be first curling my lashes. And for mascara, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Waterproof Mascara. That's a lot of words for a mascara, so I had to take it slow. You can most definitely use false lashes if you prefer, but if you do, try to use something that wings out so it's in sync with your eyeliner. Or you can also use individual lashes. This look is so delicate. There's something about that color combination that pops your eye shade no matter what eye color you have. It's soft, it's classy and very forgiving on all eye shapes. For lipstick, I'm going to be using the Hello Angel Luxe Lipstick Kit. This is from ColourPop. I'm going to first use the lip pencil and then fill in my lips with the lipstick. This is a beautiful muted rose shade and as you can see, it looks stunning. And here is the finished look. It looks fresh. That's the first word that came to my mind. But I'd love to hear from you. So let me know in comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you'd like to watch more videos like these. And let me know what you'd like to watch next. Do check out the description box for all the products that I used. I love you guys so much. And I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye, guys. Bye.